and run. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan. This is Timeless Personal Growth and Development. And today, we're talking about child development, how to connect with girls. So, if you haven't checked it out, I've done a past video, Child Development, How to Connect with Boys. So, if you'd like to go check that out. But today, we're talking about connecting with girls, little child girls. So, whether you... Whether you're like me, you work in the school, or if you're a parent and you have a daughter and you're struggling and you're wondering, you know, you're having a hard time emotionally connecting with her and you're not understanding her, she's not engaging with you and you're not sure what to do. First thing and the most important thing you need to realize is that little girls are emotional beings. They connect with you based on their emotions, how you make them feel. It's all about emotions and how they're feeling. So if you make a girl, a little girl, either is she's indifferent to you or she's very uncomfortable around you, that's gonna be a problem. She needs to associate you with positive emotions. She needs to, she needs, it, it's similar in terms of dating, when a woman's dating a guy, and she really likes him, and she really likes this guy, and she, this guy walks into the room, and she gets that little feeling of excitement in her, like, ooh, he's here, ooh, she gets, she gets excited, and she gets a little nervous, she's a little intimidated by him, but she's also really attracted by him by him too so it's the feeling of attraction and intimidation is not it's not too far apart and it's the same thing with the connecting with your little girls if you're a mother or father or you're someone that works with kids little girls are emotion based so they're going to associate with you with how you make them feel so if they associate you with positive emotions that's good however like any kind of child, boys or girls, you can't make them too comfortable around you. You gotta make them at least 80% comfortable with you, but there's always gotta be that 20%. And that 20% is there to establish boundaries with them. They're comfortable with you, they rely on you, they look at you in their, as their rock, as their mountain, they look for comfort and affection from you, but there needs to be that level of respect and boundaries. And that comes having that 20% of them being a little uncomfortable around you. Where they need to know their boundaries and where they, where they stand with you. That they can't push too far. Because a, a little girl is too comfortable with you, just like boys, just like all kids, they'll test those boundaries. So there always needs to be a little bit of that discomfort of that apprehension of just like I know I, I, I like him or I like her but I know I can't I know I can't cross these boundaries because I know I'll get in, into trouble another part of connecting with girls is girls in general females are more socially developed than males are and females will connect emotionally connect with you way more through subcommunications, through subtle nuances, subtle mannerisms, just little, little tiny facial expressions, a little eye contact, you look at them. I'll use a classroom as an example, because that's where I'm at all day, is they just connect, you just, they'll look across the class and they make a kind of little silly wink at them or a silly little face and you make them laugh and then they turn back and listen to the teacher. It's it's tiny little things like that that girls connect with. And you see that with adult women, and that adult women will be a lot more affected by just nonverbal communication and simple, simple facial expressions. And you see it when girls talk to each other. You've noticed this in female environments, and women are talking to each other and having a conversation with each other, and they're like, oh, this did you see Betty today? Ugh, I'm just, 
Oh, she just, oh, that, that bitch just looked at me and just that look that she gave me, oh, she just, oh she's such a bitch. No, it's stuff like that. They're really affected more by nonverbal communication when it's just, guys, it depends on the guy, but a guy like me, like, like, oh, this person looked at me in the wrong way. I don't care about the stuff like that. It's silly. I don't care about stuff like that. But generally, females will be more affected, emotionally affected by stuff like that. It will bother them a little more. But in terms of little girls, little girls will connect more through those little subtle nuances of just facial expressions. You make a silly face or they're doing something. They're working hard in class or they're doing their homework well. And you look at them, they look at you, just smile and just give them a thumbs up. Little little sub-communication like that they will connect a lot more with and again like I said they're emotional beings they need they need to connect through that emotion and another and another point that girls will connect with well very well is humor and boys too children across the board will connect through humor I find through my experience of what I've seen is that girls will be more affected by that humor and will emotionally connect with you way more through that humor. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, using humor in the right situations makes them feel comfortable and associates you with positive emotions. Because if you're always serious all the time, you're always serious and you got that serious look in your face and you can't show any humor. You can't be sarcastic. You can't can't kind of make fun of yourself. And kids like that. Kids like having adults that you can just adults that they can playfully tease and make fun of. And you don't care. You're having fun. You're just having playful interaction, play, playful banter with them, and they're teasing, make fun of you. They enjoy it. So don't you know? Don't take yourself too seriously in situations. Let them make fun of you make sure they're being respectful about it there's always that line but everybody has their own line so if you're worried about oh this kid crossed the line well that line that boundary is it whatever you make it so if you're a father if you're a mother if you're a professional working with children and you're worried worried about kids crossing a line with you crossing a boundary you're in charge of the boundaries you set. That line is what you make it. So those boundaries aren't, if those boundaries aren't assertive and aren't firm and aren't set and the kids know how far, the, far they can or can't push you, they'll go as far as they can. So you gotta draw a line in the sand to let them know, nope, this is unacceptable. That's not okay. Especially with girls, girls will actually have little little girls will have no respect for you if there's no boundaries, nothing. Girls need those boundaries because if you're playful, you're fun, you're you're strong when you're strong when you need to be, you're assertive, you're a good leader when you need to be, you don't lose control and you maintain your composure in high stress situations so they trust you in times that they're really stressed and they have a lot of anxiety and they need some comfort they know they can come for you because you're not going to be shaken because you're the unshakable mountain so they know they can trust you and trust your strength in that so they'll connect with different things they can trust your strength and know they can they can trust you as well when Situ you know, the situation is at ease. It's a more playful environment that they can trust and just be playful with you. But when shit gets serious, then you got to get serious with them and be a good leader and be strong and be a good role model for them. Yeah, and the point I was trying to make was if girls can see all those things in you and know when those boundaries are set and know where that line is, they will have more respect and more admiration for you that they know you have boundaries. Because your boys too, children across the board, 
And they don't know this. They know this on a very subconscious level. But they are very, children in general are very, very uncomfortable. And they do not trust an adult that doesn't set boundaries and lets them do what they want. Children need to set boundaries and they will feel safe and comfortable and will have way more respect for you as a parent and as a leader when you establish healthy boundaries. Especially if you are a parent and they grow up knowing that they have free range to do what they want and you won't say anything and you won't set healthy boundaries for them. When they grow into teenagers and adults, they will have zero respect for you. Nothing. Like they'll, they'll actually resent you in the future. They will resent you and have no respect for you and not look up to you. Because they can't feel safe. Children are vulnerable, vulnerable beings and they need that leadership and that guidance and those boundaries to make them feel safe so they can grow up to be competent, healthy, confident adults. But they need those boundaries. The little girls need, to, need those boundaries set. If they don't, they'll feel safe, they'll disrespect you, and they will resent you for it. So always make sure you're connecting with girls through humor, that they are emotion-based. They will connect more through subcommunications and nonverbals, and little nuances and facial expressions with eye contact. And always make sure you're establishing healthy boundaries and have a playful teasing relationship with them and you're strong when you need to be strong and you're playful when you need to be playful and I'll leave it at that if you like this video and this was a value to you you can like subscribe comment follow me on Twitter Instagram LinkedIn Facebook Logan Ryder timeless personal growth and development and I will see you all in the next video have a good day